the story of how love and perseverance helped one woman beat so many odds. Regina Louise grew up in the foster system and was moved between more than 30 different homes and facilities before she finally found her forever home. Now she's bringing her triumph and hope to the screen in the new Lifetime movie, I Am Somebody's Child, the Regina Louise story. We're going to speak to her live in just a moment, but first, Lindsay Davis has her story. I want nothing more to do with this child. I want her out of my life. So are there other forms? I promise to be good. The new Lifetime movie, I Am Somebody's Child, tells a story of rejection and perseverance. You had a hard day. Your dad gave me some information that may help me find your mother. Let's not lose hope, okay? Yeah, right. A young African-American girl forced to navigate life in and out of more than 30 foster homes all before the age of 18. It's based on the real life story of author Regina Louise, who in one of her darkest moments found her shining light. You are not going to be alone. You're gonna be all right. You're gonna be all right. Group counselor Jean Kerr believed in Regina when no one else did, taking her under her wing, attempting several times to adopt the then 13 year old. I deny your petition to adopt Regina Louise on the grounds that a white woman cannot know or fully appreciate the needs of a black child in our society. But racial injustice stood in their way. Jean never gave up on Regina, defeating the odds and succeeding. 25 years later, Regina got her forever mom in the very same courthouse that previously denied them. Oh my goodness, we are thrilled to have Regina Louise here live with us. <laughs> Put it out into the universe. You wrote a book, you wanted this to be on the screen, and you fought for years to make it happen. Absolutely, Robin, 16 years. I worked it, okay? <laughs> okay. When, yes, yeah. yes. And I heard a lot of no's, and I remember someone saying, every no is just the door to your yes. Keep going, keep mm -hmm. going. I hit it hard, Robin. I'm like, nothing? Somebody told me there are no black girls to play you, so we can't make this movie. I said, but well, then I'll wait till one is born, baby, because this movie's gonna get made. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I love that. And, and we heard what Lindsay said. It's so poetic and it's true that the very courtroom where you were denied, you later, years later, that's where the adoption went through. Ooh, you can't mess with that, mm -hmm. Robin. Mm -hmm. How do I even talk on that? How do you talk on providence? Some things are just left in the, in the world of the gods and we let them do what they do. Mm -hmm. And we make the conditions, hammer it, hit it hard, stay to it, stay to that, stay to that. What did Yolanda Adams say? If there's something in you, mm -hmm. keep the dream alive, don't let it die. Yes. If something inspires you, keep trying. And that's what I did. I was determined to take every black girl and bring her from the margin to the center, which is why we're sitting right here, right mm -hmm. now. Do you feel me, Robin? I do, I do, I do. <laughs> I hear what you're saying. Yes. And also what you're also saying, and which I really appreciate, Lifetime, is going to have a PSA yes. talking about the foster care system, yes. which is so important. What is your message for anybody that is in that system right now? My book, Someone Has Let This Child to Believe, is what motivates this movie. Check what people are leading you to believe, okay? Mm -hmm. Check the messages, check your belief systems. Be willing to go inside and, and ask yourself, is that what I believe about myself, what you're saying about me? I was led to believe that I would make something of myself. And I was led to believe, I, I was led to believe that I wouldn't. And so check that, check the things that motivate you and make sure that the things, the spells people are right, putting on right. you are what you're willing to consign yourself to. Otherwise, be willing to know more about you and, and be willing to do whatever it is to, to pursue your destiny from your own experience, not what someone Nobody has led you to believe in. Unless, of course, it's from your highest, if, if it speaks to your higher self, by all means. But 
Yeah. I, I, I post on an Instagram, I'm, I'm reading this book, Limitless, mm. and there's a quote that says, don't uh, allow, I, the, person, the, the author said, I encourage you not to give a vote to your life to somebody who shouldn't even have a voice in your life. Hey. Not to give a vote to somebody there who shouldn't is. even have a voice. There it is. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. So what would you tell, what would you tell yourself? What would you, if you look back, what would you tell yourself? The best way I could do it is, don't stop believing. Hey, hold on to the feeling. Don't stop yeah. believing. <laughs> She's an author. She can sing. And she has a great movie, I Am Somebody's Child, the Regina Louise story premieres Saturday on Lifetime. <laughs> Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.